Oh, Mervi. So today's video was a request and it's all about blending with alcohol markers and I'm going to be using these uh, 120 Ohuhu Oahu alcohol markers. They are very pretty as you can see. And also I'll be using this uh, Sense marker paper. Um, and I'm telling this because uh, different markers and different papers can react a bit differently when you're blending them. So take that into account when you watch me blending today with these, these tools. Uh, and also one thing, remember, the blending looks a bit different on camera than it looks live so if you do the exactly the same thing with exactly the same tools and it looks different it's probably not because you're doing something wrong but because it just looks different on camera than it looks live and I think I had another uh, disclaimer here well yeah test a lot try a lot try yourself how to blend with the markers and um, don't be don't be taken down if if it feels like you're not getting it immediately or if it if there's a bit of a mess mess is part of art so you are an artist if you are making mess okay so blending with alcohol markers i'm going to start with a very basic thing about alcohol markers and how they behave so if you draw if you have a well, any kind of a wider um, tip on your marker whether it's a brush tip or it's a chisel tip if you draw long parallel lines it becomes a bit stripy that's okay it's a, it's an effect and it's not wrong uh, you can do that uh, you can lessen the stripiness by adding more layers on it but it's still kind of just kind of stripy even though you do that uh, and by the way these uh, markers are very um, they are quite transparent but if you layer them they become less transparent but if you want a more blended results then do short kind of back and forth um, brush strokes which blend it kind of blends itself when you do that if you're using a, a more narrow tip like this uh, fine line tip then using the longer parallel stripes uh, parallel uh, strokes is not so stripy but it's still a little bit stripy and again doing the blending motion creates more it's not quite even but more blended um, area of color so that's good to note when you are starting the blend with the alcohol markers i'll do first a very simple blending very easy blending which is using two very close colors close to each other colors and i'm going to use uh, two yellows and uh, the other one is canary yellow this is in uh, i want to underline in ohuhu oahu uh, 120 color set canary yellow and the other one is yellow uh, i start with the lighter yellow which is the canary yellow and i create a kind of a blended background with it and then on top of that I add the kind of shading or something 
with the uh, yellow, yellow, which is uh, quite a bit darker than canary yellow, but because those colors are pretty close to each other, I'll show you now. I, I used the uh, background color, the canary yellow, for blending, and when I do that, they blend, they don't blend perfectly. This uh, markers never blend perfectly, especially if they get a bit more dry, they blend less perfectly. But they blend pretty nicely. It's a pretty nice blend. And if I add more of that, layer more of that, I can make it blend even more. Because now the colors are pretty wet so the blending gets more smooth so that's the easiest way to blend with alcohol markers using two colors that are pretty close to each other okay let's level things up a bit i'm going to use indian blue and orange which are uh, they are basically opposite colors blue and orange are opposite colors so that should be interesting and I'm going to blend these side by side and the blending happens on the area that's between these two colors and it's not a perfect blend because uh, they are so there's so, such a big contrast between these two colors. Also, now that I use the orange to blend, blend here, the blue and orange, uh, the orange uh, has picked up some of the color. So I need to clean it. I use just a piece of paper to clean the blue off. Then there's the case of um, colorless blender, which is an interesting one. And it's a bit difficult one and I'm gonna show you a few things about it so first of all I'm going to use a chestnut brown which is a pretty dark brown and then I'm going to use the colorless blender I'm taking the piece of paper ready here because I'm gonna use need it and I'm going to first of all blend on the edges went to white basically and it's not a perfect blend as you can see the edge remains because it's so much uh, there's a huge contrast between the whiteness of the paper and the blended area but it's an interesting effect to me and uh, this uh, colorless blender is now kind of brown so piece of paper and wipe it off. Of course it's good to note when I do this wiping it off uh, I uh, also spent some of the uh, in this case some of the blender from this uh, marker or uh, if I use it to uh, clean uh, another color I will use some of the color from the marker which is you know that's gonna happen you cannot be too precious with these markers. You're going to spend them at some point. With this marker you can create interesting effects. I don't know if it shows on camera, but because it picks the color, like so, uh, you can lighten colors with it. But also it creates some stripedness some mess on the on the surface of the color uh, on the on the edges of the blended area there's usually if you have noticed here and here it's the same the color tends to pile up a bit uh, i don't mind it but it can be annoying maybe if you don't want that kind of pooling and piling up uh, another way to use this colorless blender is to apply it first and then on top of the outfit add some sort of color. I'm using rose beige here. 
so it makes the rose beige here while it's still wet friend player it makes it a bit smoother a bit more wet which then helps it it uh, spreads a little on the paper and then it helps to to blend the color and to create lighter shades and again there's some edges happening but that's something I think you have to accept uh, with the alcohol markers. Alcohol markers are fun to me because they are a bit unpredictable. Let's say a scarlet. I like scarlet and grass green. These are pretty nice colors with each other. Uh, so if I layer them I layer, put first the green and then add red on it and maybe blend a bit with the green. I usually blend when I'm layering colors, I usually like to blend with the uh, color on bottom, but sometimes I also use another similar, maybe a bit lighter shade. But yeah, it depends Depends really what kind of an effect I'm looking for. And here I'm going to apply the red first and then add green on it. And with these colors the difference is not that um, great on how they blend and how they look but there's there's some difference on on how they end up looking depending on on which uh, which order you are layering them cerulean blue and orange and if I layer first oh I need to move the paper if I layer first uh, if I put first some of the cerulean blue on the paper and then add orange on it it creates I'm going to add more orange here can't see that difference uh, it creates this it's not quite brown orange either and um, interestingly some parts get kind of green and then if I add on the orange the colors are a bit different it's more green and if I blend it with the orange here on the edge it becomes maybe a little bit more brown so so it really depends on which order you are adding these colors how they blend and what sort of uh, color combinations they create when you're using um, when you're blending when you're using uh, alcohol markers uh, the how it looks when it's just fresh and still a bit wet is different how it looks when it has dried a bit more and it usually looks better when it has dried a bit more and yeah there's a bit of that pooling color pooling if you blend a lot and especially if there's lots of contrast between the colors but i think that's pretty cool i like that pooling effect so i think that's that for it so I hope you like this video. If you like to see more stuff like this, hear my uh, funny little voice and funny little accent more, please subscribe and I will see you around. Thank you for watching. Bye.